BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, was successfully test-fired on Sunday from the Indian Navy's indigenously built stealth destroyer, INS Chennai. Hitting a target in the Arabian Sea, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO said on Sunday. BrahMos Aerospace, an India-Russia joint venture, produces the supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft, or from land platforms. In the last few weeks, India has test-fired a number of missiles, including a new version of the surface-to-surface -surface supersonic cruise missile, BrahMos and anti-radiation missile, Rudram-1. The original 290 km range BrahMos, has already been deployed in Ladakh, as well as Arunachal Pradesh, during the ongoing military confrontation with China. The armed forces have already inducted, the 290 km range, land and warship-based versions of the BrahMos missiles, which fly almost three times, the speed of sound, at Mach 2.8, over the last decade. A sleeker version, of air-breathing missile, was also test-fired from Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter jets last year. These air-to-ground, BrahMos missiles, can conceivably be used for pinpoint strikes, on terror camps located deep inside enemy territory, or to take out underground nuclear bunkers, command and control centers, and other high-value military targets, like aircraft carriers on the high seas, from long standoff distances. India also carried out successful test firing of a laser-guided anti-tank guided missile and nuclear-capable hypersonic missile, Shaurya. The successful test firing of Rudram-1 was seen as a major milestone as it is India's first indigenously developed anti-radiation weapon. With India joining the 34-nation Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR, in June 2016, which removed the caps on the range of the missile, developed jointly with Russia. The range of the missile has been extended to 450 km. The MTCR basically prevents the proliferation of missiles and drones over the range of 300 km.